Oh no, I'm so sick. <laughs> I can't do classes. <laughs> what should I do? <laughs> Pay attention. Let's see. What do you need to do when you are sick and have to cancel classes? Take a look. I'm sick today and I need to cancel my classes for Friday. If I go into the official handbook and have a look at the cancellation policies. Point number five. Point number five talks about teachers can cancel appointments 24 hours in advance without monetary fine. There is a points fine. Number six, teachers can cancel all classes within 24 hours by themselves on the app. The fine is 51 per cancellation. We have a PS there. PS, cancelling trial classes 15 to 30 minutes before the start of the trial. The penalty will be 51 and minus 10 points. Cancelling trial classes within 15 minutes before the start of the class. The penalty will be 51 and minus 20 points. You can also have a look at the points system. In the official score page, if we go to this one here, the rank arrow gives you your breakdown of your points. So by making any cancellations, that means that next month I will not receive my perfect attendance bonus, which cancel classes over 24 hours. And I haven't had any in there recently. Um, here we go. The scoring rules. So cancel an appointment over 24 hours is minus one point. Cancel an appointment within 24 hours is minus five points, which is equal to one class. If I wake up in the morning and have zero voice, I will have to cancel my four classes for tomorrow. Let's go back to my appointments page and show you how to do that. Click on your appointments tab. There are three tabs within your appointments tab. The first one gives you a list of your classes. So tomorrow I have four and Friday I have seven. So we can look at the schedule tab. That is for opening and closing slots uh, for the future. So this does not close appointments. This is whether you can open and close times that are currently not booked or times for the future. The third tab is the timetable. This gives you an overview of your booked times. And then further down, if anything is in green, such as these ones here, I can see on Wednesday at 8.30, it's in green. So it's currently open, but not yet booked. These are all not yet booked because this is outside of two weeks. Those will become open to the students tomorrow. So tomorrow, as I teach AM class, about 45 minutes prior, it will book in this 6 a.m. slot for two weeks from tomorrow. So let's go to the appointments tab. I'm going to scroll down to Friday and you want to press the three dots. The three dots are your options. My only option here is to cancel. When I click on cancel, I must choose a reason. So notice at the bottom it gives you a message, canceling more than eight formal classes in 24 hours in a month or cancelling more than 20 formal classes within 24 hours in a six month period, the teacher will be removed from official kids course. Personal illness. Okay, I have the flu. I'm not going to the doctor. Um, now notice here, this one says close this time slot on your schedule. So we obviously want to close it because I don't want to be teaching if I'm sick. Please explain reasons for leave. Okay, now I know there's a minimum number of words in here, but I don't remember what it is. 
So let's just type. Now I'm going to copy this and because I want to be able to paste it into the next. You need to pay zero dollars and get one point deducted as penalties. So let's click on ask for leave. Oh, I did have enough. Oh, wow. I did have enough um, words in there. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'm going to click confirm. So I will continue doing all of those cancellations for Friday. I really don't like to cancel my classes, but sometimes things happen. So we can go to our messages tab. We can see there I've cancelled one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven appointments there. That will send a message to the student. The last time I was sick, most of the students sent me a message to get well. It was really sweet. That's another reason I love the Palfish Teacher app because you have a direct connection with your students. And what I would actually do now is message uh, each of those students individually and let them know. So I hope that's been helpful. I hope you do not get sick like myself. A word of the wise. Eat right. Sleep right.
and drink lots of water. <laughs> See you in the next video.